All right, so now we have the jump box. We're gonna get a cold start. See if we could uh, step in here. Okay, so I'm not gonna hit the wipers, but just so you guys can see. Alright. That is a clean digital gauge. I like that. Analog on the sides. Got about a half tank of gas. Still freezing cold right now i like this setup though i really wow All right, i'm just gonna say this right now i'm 5'7 and corvettes are made for vertically challenged people like me there's no other way of explaining it because i don't even know if the seats go back any further let's see i they go i yeah, I wouldn't be able to push the clutch in all the way back with the seat. So, but it's very fitting. Like, this definitely gives you that you know, in your little race cockpit, you're ready to roll. So let's take a look up here. Because the new thing is they got this valet mode in these cars. And valet mode is pretty cool because you can watch the driver or the valet person on your smartphone and you could shit chat with them and tell them you know hey do you burn the tires or hey don't be doing dumb shit but <laughs> just kidding so let's take a peek here from our menu to navigation wow this is better than my smartphone and most smartphones I love this little accent right there, the Grand Sport touch. I like this a lot. So, let's see here. Menu. Right on. So, let's go to home page. So, now you get everything you get from your weather, even, which is good because Corvette's are stubborn when it comes to weather from audio settings track time racing so if you're a race person like me you go to PDR sub let's see is there there we go from OnStar as well so here as most of the Corvettes that I've been reading on they have two front cameras as well for curbside purpose because you know how Corvettes are. They always have a lot of issues with uh, low curbs and can't really tell what the front is. But anyways, let's see. Well, we got the trunk lid open so we can't see the top. But the camera quality is very good with even the film on it, which this is not bad. So, but back to this here all right let's go to mode select and we're gonna go here sport mode you guys heard that you guys did hear that change just from going from normal to sport mode now watch this track mode change and that's just the new setup of the adjustments to the exhaust system due to like the baffles and these flanges that actually are 
valves that just change it all up. Which I kind of like the sport mode even. Just, let's go back to it. Yeah. And it's still warm enough, so I'm not going to get on it just yet. Because these things are cold, hard to be set when they first start up. That's just 101. But, alright. And then let's see if we can get this hood started. and jump out. Maybe that's for the target top option. <laughs> Just kidding. So, Alright. And we got a very nice dash set up here with the suede all the way up here. And look at that. Smaller diamond stitch. Target top. Oh yeah. See, th this is just beauty. And then look over here on the passenger seat. So if you ever have passengers, check this out. This is a cool shape for you. Right there, you have your own climate with gauge screen right there to see what temperature it is, what you got going, if you need to cool your butt, warm your butt up, or, you know, just try to cool off the sweat from frantically, like, gripping onto everything. How, I mean, it's just very smooth, it flows well, and then this up here is for your hologram setup. So right here on your hologram setup, you get a little gauge display, which you can kind of see right there. I mean, I don't know if the screen, did, yeah, you can see it flickering right here. So while I'm driving, you have another hologram gauge right there, so you don't really have to look down every time, if that's a challenge for you. Some people, it's not. Everybody's different, so that's the niche on that. Now let's see if we can get this hood. in sport mode so don't worry guys it's not going to get too carried away with it but so for cold star i mean you guys that's in cab sound so you guys got to like you know see and feel the torque of it and all that fun stuff if you've never been in a Corvette, you should get in one and really, 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 like, go for a cruise in one. It's the most amazing thing, and it's free compared to any vehicle on the road. Like, the way it feels, it's unreal. But, oh, man. I mean, even the rev match. You got paddle shift rev match and the gearbox. I mean, you can't go wrong. You got two into one. So... Now let's see if we can pop this hood again. Like I said, I gotta figure out how to do that. Should be a simple. Let's see we got hood info. That's the trunk lid. And that's not it. Most of you guys don't know, Corvette hoods, they come up this way. And then the most phenomenal thing of can't have too many logos, right? You just can't. And look, listen how quiet it is. It's in sport mode and I mean, for anybody out there, do you hear it? very very little until you get on it again and I think that's one of the most awesome things about the technology side of it all is how 
we've become so far advanced in things where we could do multiple valve shutoffs, pistons not, you know, combusting to where we could just save fuel. So, GM, good job. Proud of you guys. And with that said, I'm gonna turn this around here and take a few photos. And you guys sit back tight.